Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw, I am joined by the king himself, Crashy. Hello, Crashy. When did, when did you start calling me the king? <laughs> You're the king, my man. My, you like, are the Elvis, king. Do I need to do a little shuffle? <laughs> You Thanks, are, man. Elvis. You need the shuffle. You need the Trevenant Hollow wear. <laughs> and here we are. We are going to be doing two videos, one on my channel, one on Crashies, and we're talking about Pokemon that we want to see come to Pokemon Unite. One from every gen. In fact, two from a couple generations. Mm -hmm. And we don't know each other's lists, so it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. We'll talk about maybe what role we could see them fill or why we think it would be cool. So check out the video on Crashies' channel if you haven't yet. Let us start with Gen. Gen one. Do you want to start first, Crashy? I'll, I'll start it off because listen, my, right. my this is my story, and probably most people know this. I'm just Gen one boomer. I'm not a big Pokemon person, so I grew up watching the shows, and all of my fond memories of Pokemon are from Gen one. And so the big one for me, and I actually have two on this list uh, for Gen one is I do as well. It's Mewtwo. I know it's legendary. Mm -hmm. I know it's crazy. It's iconic, but that's the perfect thing, right? Like. I, I see it as this I see it as an all rounder. I kinda want them to get creative with it and maybe make it like an SP attack all rounder, but I think Mewtwo would just be so incredibly cool for Pokemon Unite. I totally agree with you. It has to come to this game. I recognize it's legendary, but it's so iconic and yeah. I think we think of the legendary Pokemon like, oh, you can't balance it, but well, of course, of course you can. You just put it in yeah. the game. You make its stats reasonable to the other Pokemon. I totally agree. I actually also saw it as sort of a special attacker all rounder, almost like a, almost feeling like a Gengar in some ways, mm -hmm. but not having the exact same, you know, assassiny feel to it. Maybe feeling like a Gengar mixed with. Ooh, I, I wonder if it's almost mixed with like a Machamp a little bit yeah, or something kinda. like that. Something that like I, sticks to you or like wants to brawl after yeah. you, but is also kind of shooting at like this really close to mid round. Like, yeah, I don't know. I could see some really cool stuff. That would be such an amazing Pokemon. I think there's no question that they are working on adding that Pokemon to the game, just finding the right move set for it. And I think some people would be a little bumped by it just because it's, you know, it's legendary. And can you imagine, uh, you know, a Greedent KOing Mewtwo <laughs> inside Pokemon? It does seem pretty weird. But yeah, that's uh, that is a top tier choice, in my opinion. And I'm not surprised you picked it. Can yeah. I... Can I bounce in with mine? It yeah. kind of makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I have two in this gen as well. And my choice is Mew as a supporter. I yeah. think Mew is an amazing choice for this game as well. It feels like uh, that perfect kind of uh, support Pokemon. You know what? It, I think it feels like a little bit is like an Eldegoss to me, where it can still deal some damage. It can still fight pretty well. It's going to be fighting at ranged, but it's also going to be healing and helping the team. Mew just feels like, oh man, can you imagine having Mew and Mewtwo in a lane together? I crazy. mean, that would be so sick. That would be so sick. Yeah, I, I can see, I could definitely see Mew being in this game. I, I've seen, um, there's like a character in League of Legends, I don't actually know it well, Nami, and you kind of like attach yourself to like an ally. So I could mm -hmm. see something like that where you're like really close and you're like working really close in tandem with an ally or teleporting around. There was a support character in Heroes of the Storm called Brightwing, and Brightwing had um, one of its moves was like, it was like a little mini teleport and a heal. So it's like you would teleport to an ally and as you reach them, you would heal them. And I could just see that because like I know like Mew kind of like teleports and zips and flies around and stuff. I could really see like a really unique cool kind of supporty but also still like half offensive kind of a kit from you i think that'd be really fun brightwing is that little flying yeah. fairy dragon thing yeah yeah fairy dragon yeah little flying thing from hots i remember playing that yeah. as well that's a that is a very cool uh vibe for what mew could be absolutely i just think it's such a popular Pokemon, and yes, like Mewtwo, we're kind of entering the range of, uh, I mean, it would be weird to have it go in path against a Rapidash if it ever yeah. got put in there. But at the same time, I think Pokemon Unite is in a really unique space in that it can do things that other Pokemon games might not be able to. You have to be able to balance you know, uh, a Cinderace and a Wigglytuff and have them fight each other already. So I think you could definitely put Pokemon like this in. So do you want to hear my next gen yeah. one or do? Yeah, yeah, okay. My next gen one is a speedster. The Ooh. game, I don't know if you know this, Crashy. They haven't released many speedsters <laughs> in Pokemon Unite. Uh, so my next gen one is Aerodactyl. 
I think Ooh. Aerodactyl would be an awesome speedster, bringing in a fossil type Pokemon. This one's really, really quick in the mainline games too, so it feels like it fits. It is another bird, but it's definitely, you know, it's that rock flying kind of situation. So I think they could do some really cool stuff with its move set, make it feel very different from Talon, while at the same time just being this hyper mobile sort of uh, damage dealer. And I think that would be a really cool addition. Yeah, that, that would be really cool. I, I don't know much about the Pokemon other than the way that it looks because it's Gen 1, but I could definitely see that being in the game. I think it's like a little bit bigger too, so it would kind of be like big yeah. but still fast, and, and Speedster Roll would be cool for that. All right, and it so, doesn't uh, evolve, which is kind of a goal. All oh, the Pokemon, by the right. way, that we've brought up right now don't evolve. They're all one evolution Pokemon. True. All right, so my next Gen 1 Pokemon is Lickitung. So Ooh. Lickitung, I see this as a defender, and there's a reason why. There's a very specific archetype of MOBA character, and it's the hook character. It's the character that yep. throws out a hook and yoinks somebody in. And we have Lick. We do have Lick on Gengar, or what is it, Ghastly, but you don't get to keep it. And so I really want that defender stand and deliver kind of tank that also is like get over here. You know what I mean? Pulls a scorpion from Mortal Kombat mm -hmm. and just pulls him in. I don't know what else Lickitung would do, um, but I would love to see like a, a tanky Lickitung that's just like pulling enemies in and, and trying to fight with the team. There are, I've talked about a hook character forever. I think everyone who plays MOBAs is kind of shocked that we don't have a hook character yeah. yet. It feels like they're, they are at the release of every MOBA. There's a Blitzkrieg or something like that hooking the enemies. So I have a hook character on my list at some point as well. I think it is a, it feels like a necessary thing inside of a MOBA to have yeah. something that pulls people in. Lickitung is a great uh, choice. You know, interesting, uh, Tangela also, I think, from Gen 1 is kind of a cool choice for that, too, with its vines and then wrapping people up. But yeah, that that is an awesome... That is an awesome choice for a hook character, for sure. And it also has that evolution to Licky Licky. I can't remember what gen that yeah. came in, but you could have it evolve, too. That would be really, really sweet. Uh, why don't you hit me with your Gen 2? All right, so my Gen 2, and I think this is legendary, I'm pretty sure, and, and I, I can't help myself. Uh, it's just, There was a movie, man. It's Entei. I want Entei mm -hmm. so bad, and uh, I, I just see it as this like fast but yet all roundery kind of like four legged maybe it could be speedster i don't know but i just see it as like a jungler i don't know something about like seeing entei like entering the path out of the jungle would be so cool to me and i like fire types and and it's it's just really really a unique pokemon i have a lot of fond memories of the movie and um yeah i just think entei would be really really fun I think all three of those. I don't know if they're considered legendary. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what, I, I, you know, I there's a, there's like mythical and legendary, and I'm just I'm ignorant to it because I'm like <laughs> to me when I caught Articuno, I felt the same way when I caught Mewtwo. I was like these are these are the legendary birds. That's Mewtwo. It's legendary. Uh, all the dogs are legendary. Uh, Freaking Rattata's legendary. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I think that's a really cool choice. I think all of those have really interesting options to him uh i was always uh partial to i mean i think i'm gonna say this wrong but suicune uh the uh water dog ice dog uh i always liked that one a lot but i think that would be really cool you could probably do it speedster or all rounder yeah. the game loves all rounders so yeah maybe you could, we should you advocate could, for speedster then <laughs> you could do an all rounder for sure uh but yeah it could be a speedster as well that seems very very cool and i know it's again super powered up it feels like but also like what a cool choice for this game uh my gen 2 is a pokemon that i absolutely love there are a, a few in gen 2 that i thought could be really great basically for me just kind of like you gen 1 and 2 are the games i sunk the most time into mm -hmm. i've played every gen but gen 1 and 2 i spent like a ton of time with and i would really love to have Ampharos come to the game as an attacker it's a electric type pokemon and yeah, look it up. It's just, I had it on my team. It was on my squad the whole time. It evolves from kind of this very cute thing into something that still stays pretty dang cute. Uh, but it feels like it would be a really cool electric attacker and probably different from Pikachu. It would feel, it's interesting because Pikachu isn't super mobile, but I think this Pokemon would feel even less mobile than Pikachu, but could 
kind of put out some bigger status conditions to the enemy team as you were fighting it. Like this really feels like sort of maybe a less mobile, but very kind of like tanky status condition mage for the game. And I think that would be really cool. Cool. Yeah. I actually didn't, uh, couldn't recall that Pokemon off the top of my head at all. And, uh, looking at it, I, I like it a lot of like my picks and stuff sometimes are just based on like the silhouette of the Pokemon and how it looks. Uh -huh. So I like looking at it. I think it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a super solid one. Uh, can I hit you with my Gen 3? Yep, drop it on me. We need speedsters. Everybody knows it. Gen 3, Sceptile, has... Uh, I think that's a great choice for a speedster for this game. Uh, yeah, it would be really, really awesome. It's, uh, you know, it's a starter, which would be pretty cool. It's got a three-stage Evo. Do we have... A few of our speedsters do, I guess. Yeah, so that wouldn't really be a problem there at all. I think it would be a super cool choice to come to the game. Yeah, no, I, I think Sceptile is really cool. Uh, I don't know if you've seen Brawl Fan 1 did a concept video for it, and it was really, really cool. And I just think the idea of adding um, more starters is really fun because people t tend to have like a, an affinity for starters. And why not? You know, they're awesome. You get to feel kind of a little bit emotionally attached to them, and uh, seeing that come to the game would be awesome. Um, mine is a Pokemon I'm not really familiar with. And actually, this is just the, the trend of how this goes. The deeper we go down the list, the less and less familiar I am. Uh, sure. But it's actually a Pokemon that's technically already in the game. Um, and I'm not sure if it would be better suited as a supporter or a speedster, uh, but I would love to see Sableye. I think Sableye Ooh. is so unique and cool looking. He's got the gems thing going on. And this is one of those that I just looked at and I was like, that Pokemon, that, that one's cool. I was like, I want to see that one enter the game. And and however they design it, I, I'd be down to, to give it a try. So I definitely think that um I've seen other people talk about uh, Sableye, like just in like comments yeah, or chats or whatever. Yeah, I think Sableye would be very cool. Did I lose you for a second? I don't think so. No. Oh, I did. I lost your audio. Oh, weird. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> we no, might yeah. have <laughs> no i think yeah i think that that sableye would be super super cool though. i've definitely seen a lot of uh like people say that they they would like to have it in the game yeah i think so too this is hanging out in one of the shops right it, yeah. is that where yeah. it is inside the game yeah this would be very cool dark ghost i wonder what role they'd put it into i feel like someone smarter than me would figure it out right away it might be like a supporter or speedster but thinking, i don't yeah. know it's i don't really know a lot of its uh stat breakdown or anything like that not that that makes the biggest difference in these games but i do think they sometimes lean into uh the stats of these pokemon they're like it feels more like this yeah so yeah i think that would be awesome tell me all right crashy we're on our last pokemon for uh this first video tell me your gen 4 all right gen 4 it's another one of those that like it's hard for me to even pick the classification i'm thinking it would be like attacker maybe speedster Ooh. and it's just straight strictly based on the look but Toxicroak is so cool. I, I just think that it, it looks like it belongs in the game. And I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody else, but it looks like a Pokemon that I want to jump in and play and maybe, you know, throw down in the jungle with or or try to bully around with. Um, like I said, I don't know what it would do, but it, it looks like a Pokemon that would be really, really fun to play. It feels like they could go the speedster route or the all rounder route with this one and probably make it sort of, you know, a damage over time sort of brawly Pokemon, which would be really cool. I want a damage over time Pokemon in the yeah. game very bad. Like one that puts down legit damage over time to the point where if you're even going back to goal, it's not healing you. Like some some uh, games do have characters that put so much DOT on you, like a poison effect or something for anyone who doesn't know like kind of what I'm talking about. They have effects like that where even if you're kind of running to get healed, you can't do it yet. Yeah. And oh man, I would love something like that in the game. That's a really cool choice. Wasn't that in in the beta i think as as a like hmm. a neutral pokemon walking around the map i think maybe it, it was been. yeah and one of the early footages it might have been one of the ones that that you could see around there there was a bunch that i actually uh hadn't thought about yeah yeah my pick for gen 4 uh is just i think it's amazing and it should come to the game and it's obama snow I think Obama Snow is awesome. It would be such a good defender. The only issue with Ob Obama Snow, I call it Obama Snow because <laughs> when when <laughs> when I was playing the game, I think Obama had just become president or something, and I immediately <laughs> nicknamed it Obama Snow. So uh, Obama Snow, I think, would be so cool. Uh, but its only issue is it has a few moves that feel like they're pretty 
close in some ways to Trevenant. It's definitely not that same vibe at all. This is sort of a an ice grass type, huge bulky defender, but it's got the wood hammer. It's got some of those uh, elements to it. But of course, I love how Pokemon Unite will take one move from one Pokemon, one move from another, and sort of give you that flavoring there. So I think this would be a really awesome addition to the game. And it's just one of my faves. Yeah, just looking at it, it it just looks like a like a ice Snorlax to me. <laughs> like, like it, it kind of does. I really yeah. love that. Like I I would love to see what kind of a defender kit that could come uh, that could bring to the game because you, when you look at certain Pokemon's and like I said, I always use the word silhouette. It's like the silhouette of the Pokemon looks defender ish, and then it's like the vibe of the Pokemon. Like what is it? What does it really mm -hmm. want to do? And that looks like it'd be a really fun defender. So yeah, I guess that's Gens one through four. Gens one through four, I hope you all enjoyed it. I would love to hear in the comments of this video and the next video, what Pokemon from these gens you would really like to see. Uh, there will be a link in the description here for the next video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye, everybody. Mm -hmm.